This gateway to the southern flank of Mauna Loa, the largest active volcano in the world, lies about two and a half miles west of the main entrance to the park, between mile markers 30 and 31 on Highway 11. The road traverses lava desert, ohia scrub savanna, fern forest, and ends where the hiking trail starts to the icy heights of Mauna Loa's summit. A small fork road heading east just after the start of Mauna Loa Road, leads to a series of tree molds that formed when lava poured through the deep tropical forest. The trees were too wet to burn, and the lava simply cooled around the trunks. Later, as the trees rotted, these unusual deep pit molds were left behind. Definitely worth a visit, there are even pit toilets available at the tree molds. About one and a half miles further along Mauna Loa Road is Bird Park, or Kipuka Pua'ulu. A forested island in a giant lava flow, this micro-ecosystem preserves forest plants and animals and is a haven to many bird members of Hawaii's endangered species. Cool, quiet, restful, and inviting, there is a one-mile nature trail around this tropical forest oasis. Mauna Loa Road is closed at various elevations and various times due to fire hazard. If one has the time and an adventurous heart, it is well worth the trip to drive to the end of the road and perhaps even a little hike. The start of the Mauna Loa Summit Trail is here, but for most people that goal is at least two days hard hiking distant. The world's largest active volcano is a lot bigger than it looks.